Hello. In this review I will tell you about the French anti-tank missile system, Acheron, specifically its two versions, Acheron MP and Acheron LP. I'll explain why France needed a new anti-tank missile system, what the capabilities of these two versions are, and what improvements are planned for the system in the near future. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click like, it helps make our content better. Let's burn! The reasons why France decided it was time for a new anti-tank missile system are quite simple. The previous two systems developed for their needs were produced during the Cold War. Both were products of a Franco-German partnership, however, there was no new European anti-tank missile system that fully met modern challenges. In 1972, France adopted the Milan Man portable anti-tank missile system, developed jointly by French and German companies. The latest version of this system had an armor penetration of up to 1,000 mm of homogeneous armor and used wire-guided control. Then, in 1974, another anti-tank missile system, also a joint Franco-German development entered service, this was the HOT anti-tank missile system. It also used wire-guided control and had an armor penetration of around 1,200 mm. By the early 2000s, both of these systems were considered outdated. A new era brought new challenges, new technologies, and new possibilities. As a result, in 2009, a project was launched to develop a new anti-tank missile system for the French army. By that time, the Swedish N-Law had just entered service, and the Javelin anti-tank missile system was already in use. However, the Javelin was an American development, while France wanted a system of its own. The consortium MBDA was tasked with developing the new anti-tank missile system, in addition to MBDA, several other companies were later involved in developing components for the system. Specifically, the French company Safran Electronics and Defense worked on the dual-mode infrared and TV-guided seeker, while the Swedish company Saab, which also developed the NLA, worked on the tandem warhead. The project was named MMP, which in French stands for Missile Moyenne Porte. In English, this translates to medium-range missile. From the very beginning, the goal was to create not just a manned portable system, but one that could also be used on armored vehicles and boats. The first model of the future system was presented at the Eurositori 2010 exhibition. That same year, plans were announced to introduce the system into service between 2015 and 2017, replacing the Milan anti-tank missile system in the French army. However, for various reasons, this timeline had to be slightly adjusted. In 2013, Nexter began integrating MMP launchers into its 40CT 40mm gun turrets, while system testing continued. That same year, the French Ministry of Defense signed an agreement with MBDA for the production of 500 launchers and 3,000 MMP missiles, expecting serial production and deliveries to start in 2015, as initially planned. However, there were issues with the warhead, particularly in overcoming new generation reactive armor used on modern tanks. As a result in 2015, France signed a contract with Saab to develop a new warhead. The process took about a year, including development and testing in various conditions and modes, before the system reached operational readiness. In 2016, MMP entered serial production. By 2017, the French army began receiving the manned portable MMP anti-tank missile system, and in the same year, it was officially adopted into service. However, France decided to reduce the order size, instead of 500 launchers, they ordered 400, and instead of 3,000 missiles, they ordered 1,750. At the time, the cost of one system was $120,000, and deliveries were planned until 2025. In 2018, an additional 200 missiles were ordered. In 2023, the French government supplied Ukraine with a certain number of missiles and launchers and placed an order for another 1,300 missiles to replenish its stockpile. In 2020, Development began on a second version of the system with an extended engagement range, designed for helicopter use. This version was named MHT. In 2023, a contract was signed to supply the base version to Egypt, while Luxembourg also placed an order, and Belgium considered it for its armed forces. Since these French names were not the most market-friendly, especially for exports, a more straightforward English naming convention was introduced. In 2022, the MBDA consortium renamed the MMP to Acheron MP and the MHT to Acheron LP. While the Acheron MP is actively produced and deployed, the Acheron LP remains in the development and testing phase as of early 2025. 
The base version of the system can be used as a manned portable anti-tank missile system, as well as from armored vehicles and boats. Manned portable configuration consists of tripod, guidance and control unit with aiming devices, a control handle, and a battery, and launch container with the missile. The missile inside the launch container weighs 15 kilograms, has a length of 1.3 meters, and a diameter of 140 millimeters. It is equipped with a dual-mode infrared and TV-guided seeker that is non-cooled. The missile also features a tandem warhead, allowing it to engage targets at a range of over 4,000 meters, with armor penetration of 1,000 millimeters behind explosive reactive armor. The missile has X-shaped wings in the middle section and stabilizers at the rear, which deploy after launch. The guidance and control unit includes aiming devices, control handle and fire mode selector switch. It is powered by a battery, but can also be connected to a stationary power source. The system offers two fire modes. First one is manual guidance. The operator can adjust the missile's trajectory mid-flight using the TV guided seeker. The missile is controlled via an optical fiber cable, transmitting live video feed from the seeker to the control unit, allowing precise adjustments via the control handle. Second one is fire and forget mode. The missile is equipped with GPS, an inertial navigation system, and a laser rangefinder. Target acquisition can be done before launch or even mid-flight, enabling the engagement of targets beyond direct line of sight. The tripod with the guidance unit weighs 11 kilograms, allowing a two-person crew to easily transport the system to firing positions. At Eurository 2024, the MBDA consortium unveiled the ground warden version of the Akron MP launcher. This variant integrates artificial intelligence to engage targets beyond direct line of sight. The system is equipped with eye-driven components that automatically analyze the battlefield, identify targets, and prioritize engagements. These components are integrated into the guidance and control unit, which also features additional antennas for enhanced data processing and communication. Operators are provided with a tablet-based control system, allowing remote operation and real-time situational awareness. The system can fire missiles without operator intervention, autonomously selecting and engaging targets. If during flight, the AI detects a higher priority target via the TV-guided seeker, the missile can be redirected mid-flight to engage the new threat. The operator can take manual control at any moment via the tablet interface. If the first missile successfully destroys a target but detects additional threats during flight, the AI can assign a second missile to another target automatically. Ground Warden can operate in conjunction with drones. The drone provides a live battlefield feed to the Akron system, where AI analyzes the terrain and identifies potential threats. The operator receives a list of detected targets on the tablet and can prioritize them for engagement, issuing launch commands as needed. This advanced automation and AI integration significantly enhances situational awareness, target prioritization, and reaction time, making Ground Warden a highly versatile and efficient battlefield asset. What about integration of Akron MP with armored vehicles? In 2022, trials were conducted using Akron MP on Swedish CV-90 infantry fighting vehicles. The tests were successful, confirming the system's compatibility. As a result, two launch rails for Akron MP missiles can now be mounted on the CV-90. Operational principles, guidance methods, and engagement range remain unchanged from the portable version. In 2021, Trials were also carried out on the Jaguar EBRC, with successful results. Belgium later ordered the Akron MP system in 2023, aiming to integrate it into its Jaguar EBRC vehicles. Deliveries to Belgium and system integration are set to begin in 2025. Belgium intends to replace Israeli spike anti-tank missile systems on its armored vehicles with Akron MP. At Euro Naval 2022, MBDA showcased Akron MP mounted on the Nexter Narwhal turret. This turret combines 20mm automatic cannon and two launch rails for Akron MP anti-tank missile systems. The system enhances naval combat capabilities, allowing engagement of enemy boats and maritime threats. Since 2020, discussions in France have intensified regarding the next-generation Akron LP system, focusing on improved range and capabilities. The Akron LP is designed to engage targets at greater distances. Its primary role is integration with helicopters, allowing them to destroy tanks, armored vehicles, and fortified positions. In 2022, MBDA announced ongoing integration efforts for the Eurocopter Tiger Mark III attack helicopter. 
The goal was to complete the integration by 2024. The weight was increased due to the inclusion of a multi-purpose warhead. Can be used tandem charge warhead for armor penetration or high explosive fragmentation warhead for soft targets and fortified structures. Depending on warhead type, missile weight can be from 30 to 40 kilograms. Its length is 1.7 meters. Diameter is 150 millimeters. It has larger central wings compared to the Akron MP. Still got dual mode seeker with TV guided mode and infrared mode. Depending on launch altitude, engagement range could be from 8 kilometers to 20 kilometers. Launch containers are with two missile pod. The weight is 120 kilograms and with four missile pod. The weight is 200 kg. The system operates using the same principles as the Akron MP. MBDA also aims to integrate Akron LP onto the Eurodrone unmanned aerial vehicle. This initiative is part of the MASTF project, launched in 2020. Expected timeline for Eurodrone plus Akron LP integration, from 2027 to 2030, after the drone's full development. This expansion of the Akron family ensures greater operational flexibility, supporting both manned and unmanned platforms. At Euronival 2024, MBDA showcased a new drone-based anti-tank system featuring the Akron MP missile. The Atlas 8 unmanned aerial vehicle, with a maximum takeoff weight of 90 kg, was equipped with two launch rails for Akron MP missiles. It can carry up to 40 kg of payload, effectively turning it into a flying anti-tank missile system. The integrated system of the Atlas 8 UAV plus Akron MP was named Curveros. It has flight endurance up to 4 hours, operational range up to 100 kilometers. It has manual guidance and operator can adjust the missile's trajectory, and it has fire and forget mode for autonomous target engagement. This drone missile hybrid significantly extends the operational reach of the Akron MP, making it a highly lethal system for deep strike missions behind enemy lines. That was an overview of the Akron missile system. Hope you found the information interesting and insightful. Don't forget to click like and subscribe to the channel. Wishing you peace and safety. Until next time, bye.